let us start today's session. So this is uh, net types we have to discuss. Yesterday we have seen that in the Vizlag HDL we have data types. These data types are net data types and the other name for these registers is a variable data type. So this we have seen as well. And the default value is V or Z for net data types. And the default value is X for variable data type. So with that, let us continue today with this uh, type of uh, data types. So here, basically, what is meant by uh, this net? Net signifies the connection from one circuit unit to another circuit unit. So what is the importance of net? What is the importance of net? This is one circuit unit to another. So that way they are used in the very large SPR. So how that is practically, we'll see later on while coding. So. Such a net carries the value of the signal it is connected to and transmits to the circuit blocks connected to it. This is very obvious. So if you have connected here to the, some other uh, circuit element, this is circuit element 1, this is circuit element 2, whatever that comes here from uh, this, this one here, obviously it will be uh, going to uh, the other circuit element. So such connections, that, such connections are nets. If the driving end of a net is left floating, the net goes to the high impedance state. This is important. This point is important. What happens if you don't connect? The driving end of the net is left floating. So we have this LHS and RHS. So this is the left hand side and the right hand side. Uh, this is driving here. So to this, if driving end of a net is left floating, the net goes to the high impedance state. If something is not connected, suppose say uh, this is uh, you have A. Let me clear all this. So A, you have two bits. Two bits, one column zero, two bits. The vector, it is a vector type. The size of the vector is two bits here. And you have another, suppose say that is uh, B, which is also a vector type. Now, if the driving end and the driven, so both, this is LHS, is driven by the driving. This is this is driving. So meaning something like uh, you have a gate here. This is your Y. This is your A. This is your B. This A B. Let us say A B. This is your uh, AND gate. So now what we do generally this LHS means Y equal to A and b so this a and b are driving this y this y is driven y is driven by a and b now if the driving if the driving end this end is left floating meaning we did not connect here so this is connected b is connected b is connected but A is not connected here, some missing surface. So that net is held at high impedance state, meaning this value is treated by the compiler like a Z. And whatever the value that comes here, maybe 0, maybe 1, maybe X, maybe Z, that is different story on B, because this is connected. But A is, suppose uh, it's not connected here, this is the, the way shown here, it is like this, open. 
so in that case what is the value taken by this this uh, uh, this one driving net this is driving a is driving the y so this is treated as a high impedance state that is z a net can be specified in different ways so a net could be a wire type wire is a keyword and try is a keyword t r i is a keyword it could be a wire or it could be a try so this is a t r i or it could be a wire net could be a wire type or it could be a try type so where it is used how it is used we'll see don't go panic so wire it represents a simple wire doing a interconnection only one output is connected to wire and is driven by that it represents a simple signal line as wire unlike wire a try can be driven by more than one signal outputs so if there are like uh, suppose say this is now this output this output here if you see more than one signal outputs unlike the wire a try can be driven by more than one signal outputs here this is the tri state gate we call because this signal alone is not driving this output this output is also driven by this also how, how means uh, let me clear this so it is a simple buffer you have a buffer what what is the job of the buffer you give one it will come one you give zero it will come zero where do we use buffers some delays if you want and we are for uh, introducing the delays we use the buffers buffer is buffer is nothing but a simple inverter you have a inverter and another one more inverter so if this inverters are connected like this the output internally in, inside of this these are the transistors actually so this is your vdd and cmos and uh, th these are given to the ground for gm now you have your v in here and you obtain your v out here so this is your inside inside this buffer you have this one this this transistors you have so now what is happening here is this output is driven by more than one yes. this is not only this first one and also the other one. so these are in such case to represent this uh, output here this, this, to represent this out we we use instead of wire instead of wire we use try how it is used to we'll see in the subsequent classes or possibly in today itself Coming to uh, the excuse yes. me, sir. I have a doubt. Yes. Uh, like previous example, you we used AND gate before, right? So even an AND gate have two inputs. So Y was driven by two inputs A and B. So try is di different than that. I will show. I will show with an example. You will understand. Okay. 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 So if you take this example, yes, here we are using this. Uh, if, if you observe this, one, this particular piece of board, buffer, as I said, this buffer here is of two types. Here. Buff if one, this is if this is one, then only this whatever the input you give, this is made available here. The other is here in the, this one. This is buff if zero. The same one here, this one. But with bubble wheel. When one comes, this is working. When zero comes here, when zero comes here, this is not going to work, and this is going to work. This is connected here. This uh, this one here. If you see from here, it is connected. Here it is connected. Now. Output here both are shorted 
this output output is now driven by more than one one this is one this second one. maybe some other also so but in this particular example we have taken two two buffers one and two. so in this case this try is preferred advised by the language is use try where this out is driven by more than one gate this out this is the out this out is more than it is driven by more than one one output this is one output this is the second output so this try state gates we have but if you take up uh, this uh, this one uh, and gate you have n uh, 0 to uh, n so in a very large sdl n input gates are available uh, primitives we call them primitives so practically no one may be using that but language facilitates from 1 to n or 0 to n whatever that you call but uh, here n they mentioned n so this in this case this output this output only one is not driven by any other outputs here there is no other and gate this is no other and gate which is also connected to this one here and this is driving this this output if, if this is there is another out, uh, and gate here this is the, for example this is another and gate one and this is the second and gate let us uh, clear everything take and gate one in this case this particular example this out this out net is driven by only one gate single gate you suppose say one more and gate you are keeping and some inputs you are giving and this output you are not going to type to another uh, net out to two let us say this is out one you are not going to type uh, to a separate uh, net separate port instead of tying to separate port to the same port you are going to type suppose meaning this output is now driven by more than one gate this is the one and the other is this so more than one gate. in such cases this this we have to use right is that clear yes yes so why it is not advised here to use wire we should be we shouldn't be using wire we should be using this track let's go back here this one this try here if you see carefully unlike the wire a try can be driven by more than one signal outputs that is the point here this output only one in this case, you have the control here in this taken example, and uh, this is the buffer, simply buffer, when uh, this is one, then this buffer will put a, uh, whatever the input is there, it will put here, if zero is there, it will put zero, there. only when this is one. And in this case, if you see this particular example, this out is not driven by uh, more, more than one buffer, it is sing single one buffer. So try is not required if one more buffer comes into the picture and this buffer is also connected to the same output port it is becoming more than one this out is driven by more than one gate in such case not to use this wire use try so hope this is clear now moving to this variable data type we will come back here to uh, variable data type later on we will continue with our uh, this uh, what we call net data type only in net data type signal has this uh, what we call this gate gate output is uh, defined by the strength like this is A, B. 
transfer this this one this output in a simulation point out so practically it is not possible not possible means uh, that is different i will tell so in a simulation this output we can uh, we can represent this strength we call it as a strength of the gate this is the strength of the gate why this strength is required means if more than one uh, as i have taken example if more than one uh, is driving the same uh, net or same output who will dominate this 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 needs to be resolved who will dominate here if one comes here also is one coming no problem but if here it is zero and here it is one so in that case this is a contention issue this is a contention issue what what should be the output of this? this is uh, this needs to be addressed in the compiler software level the hardware property needs to be addressed this compiler needs to address a problem of this kind where you you have several gates and these several gates in this case two they two gates they are driving the single net or single output in such case if 1 1 comes no problem if if 0 0 comes also no problem there is no contention issue but if 0 1 comes what how it is going to uh, address compiler if 1 0 comes how it is going to address this compiler that that problem so to address this problems this strength been introduced in the language so we will see that uh, with examples we will understand strengths are introduced So how they work here with the strengths here? We have this uh, table here. These are uh, some names they have given: supply and some high impedance here. So if you come from here, zero, one, two, three, four, total five. If you if you see, there are total five strength levels, and every strength here is again divided into two. Every strength is divided into two: supply one, supply zero; strong one, strong zero; pull one, pull zero; weak one, weak zero; high one and high zero. So like that, uh, every actually how many strength levels are there? Means basically five strength levels are there, and every strength level is again divided into two. So. now what what is that uh, how we represent the strength of the uh, this is in in this case this is a output your buffer this is a buffer you represent this buffer like this and you have some input here i and you have some output o now in this case if you see strength of one state in the output this is uh, if you go back to this table here let me clear this one here in this if you go back here supply one this is supply one meaning this one and pull zero if you come here it is pull zero now whenever this is one this i is one the strength is now dictated by this one this 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 one strength is dictated by this one when this is zero strength is dictated by this one because for example let us say uh, we don't have this one what happens and simply buff 0 comma i that we write right simply when there is a 0 uh, we say 0 just because it is a buffer when this is 1 we say it is 1 just because it is a buffer why we are studying this uh, this uh, strength strength we are studying in case future if something uh, like this sort of uh, things come here for example this is a uh, example with the, with this example possibly you may appreciate so if you see this buffer here we have how many buffers two buffers right here this is one instantiation of the buffer and this is a another instantiation of the buffer at this point if you don't understand don't go panic i will let you know how to write the code what is this what is this what is this everything i will let you know 
but where our focus prime focus is to understand strength what is strength what is the supply what is this pull that is our uh, uh, our concentration so uh, are you people there i am just clueless whether you are uh, connected yes yes we are here okay so now if you see this one here g1 let me put a gate here that is g1 this is a buffer g1 the other gate here is this is the g2 that is the instantiation g2 these two gates are the this g1 g2 are the instantiation names instantiation instantiation names there now what is the first gate uh, input i1 what is the second gate uh, input i2 what is the first gate output o what is the second gate output that is also o meaning what with this o o what we understand they are actually shorted like that that is what the conclusion we understand that this is shorted like that now how this is going to help let us see this, this strength contention well, the example is strength contention So if this is coming as a zero, let this is also zero. Both are zero zero. Here zero zero condition issue is there or not? First of all, condition issue is there or not? Means answer is no. No condition issue because zero zero. This will not cause any problem, and this also will not cause any problem. Output will be zero. If one here one here one, then also this is one. This is one, and if here. It, it comes one and here it also comes as a one then down to no problem but when this is zero when this is one now what happens here how to decide that is the question when this is zero and this is a one should it be a answer is zero or should be this one that is addressed with the help of this 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 strength now let us see in the first case what happens if zero if it is zero so you see the amount is two Full zero is there. Full one is there. Let us go to the this table. This table. So in this table, we have remember. Let us remember supply one full zero. Okay. So let us go here. This is the supply and the full. In the in the supply we are using this one, and in the full we are using this one. So since 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 the first gate here. First gate here zero. We are talking about the zero. Now this this pull zero because of zero. This associated zero. You see the associated zero that is going to be a zero. Where here this because of this zero, this zero. The output of the first gate is going to be uh, zero zero, and the strength associated with that is a pull uh, pull. Zero. Output is going to be zero, and the strength of the associated with it is zero. Now, if you come to this one, this is what we we thought. We thought this is. Let us say one. If one is the second gate, if this is input is a one, then output. What would be the output? Output would 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 be one only. Output will be one only because input is one. Output will be one. Now, what is the strength of that signal one? Among these two means that is supply one because associated with this is this one. So now, if you go to the table here, this one here, this one, who is given the highest weight means this one is the highest. Why the weightage is like this? Our priority, our uh, weight is like that. Highest priority is this one. Why? So. How it is resolved? Because in the compiler it is said that that is given higher priority. That supply one is given a higher weightage. So this contention zero one when has come here zero one because compiler is so designed based on this strength of the signal. It has to decide its output. Then output will be one. Is that clear? How this uh, this strengths are resolving the contention issue? Is that now? Are you understanding? No, actually, I am not 
pretty much clear. I don't know about others. Uh, okay. Uh, what about others? Can someone unmute? Hopefully, uh, we will do some more clarity on this. Yeah, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, we will go, go back to this example. Kindly mute. Kindly mute. Yeah. Kindly mute. This one. See, signal buffer. Let us take this is our buffer. Now, carefully again, please listen. This is actually buffer. Forget about this strength. Forget about this strength. This is buffer. What, how buffer behaves when zero comes? Output is zero simply. When one, output is one simply. That is the actual buffer property. This is one side of the story. Okay. The other side of the story is if one or more buffers are taken and connected to a single output like this. Now what will be this output? How we decide this output? Forget about the compiler now. Uh, on paper, on paper, if we work out what, how we decide this. If this is a zero, this is one. If, uh, let us continue with zero, zero. zero, zero. Uh, output is zero, output is zero. We conclude that since both are zero, zero, no contention, no fighting between deciding, no contention, no fighting. So output is zero. When one one comes, then output is one. Here also output is one. There is, no, there is no fighting again here also for this case also. So output is one. Now when zero here and here it is one. Now here output of this first gate is zero. Output of the second gate is one. But since both are connected to a common output terminal here, what will come here? That is the question. That is the question. What will come here? Will it be a zero? Will it be a one? That is the question. Now to address this question, what we are doing is we are introducing strength, strength up for that signal. This, this is a signal. This is a signal. Strength means in a let us say this is a uh, three point. Uh, let us say this is a 1.5 or 0.5. Let us say just, uh, just example, just understanding purpose. Give me example. 1.5 or 0.5 volts is the strength of that particular signal. The zero means actually one. It is actually 1.5 or 0.5, whatever. Let us consider 0.5 for understanding purpose, without much uh, confusing ourselves. 0.5. Now one one means it is some voltage, right? So that is, let us say, four volts. Now, who will dominate means a maximum voltage the signal. Strength is more for this, this signal, right? This will dominate here, meaning four will come here at the output side. So signal strength, depending upon the signal strength, this, this, this output is decided. Is this clear? Uh, this, this part is clear, uh, can, can someone? Yes. yes, it is clear. Yeah. Okay. So this signal, this is this is what we are calling as a signal strength. Now this, let us say, this point five. This point five is a uh, this a pull zero, and four is a supply one. Let us say like that. Now here it has come at the first gate. This is the G one, right? G one is the, our this first gate. First gate zero has come. So output what has come? Zero has come. Now this is the second gate. This is the second gate. And this four volts. Four volts means uh, uh, we are uh, the signal that uh, strength we are associating here. This is supply one. Now you may say that how come this for G two this is addressed? How come for G G one this is addressed? Because both are uh, like. Like addressing with the supply one full zero only, you know, 
how come this is actually addressed like that is for that answer is what is that here you are getting as the input you are getting zero no so a zero signal is here no this is the zero full with full what is associated zero is associated so zero that way this is binded this zero strength is binded with the, this one now uh, in a i2 case uh, what is this four means for our, for our uh, i mean uh, four means how we decoded actually one we have decoded as a four for understanding purpose so this one this one is associated somewhere no here here it is something here it is associated one so that way this is binded with that the other way around also possible if if this is one coming and this is zero coming then game will change this one means this is associated with this zero means since it is i2 is zero so this this is this is binded with this now finally since this gate is binded with that and this gate is binded with that who is going to dominate that is dictated in the language by this table by this table now now is that clear yes yes it is clear yes yeah so what i suggest is uh, you you kindly uh, try this uh, from home i already demonstrated in the uh, what is that called edia playground if you did not install xilinx ise you can uh, try in uh, what is that edia playground you just take this piece of code just, just take this piece of code you just type in that edia playground next you have to take this this uh, entire test bench this is the test bench everything i will teach later on how to write test bench and all just telling you those who are bit familiar they can test this one now what uh, this results will come here this results will speak the uh, further when zero one is coming this is the contention problem this is a contention problem who will prevail is stronger one will prevail who is the stronger one among this supply one uh, and a full zero means this is dictated by this table this table who has given us means the tool when uh, eda eda tool those who are, who, uh, who who has developed eda electronic design automation tool they have developed this compiler very the compiler they have told that this is the highest strength and this is the lowest strength this is the strongest one this is the weakest one so they have given this uh, table so that is how uh, where is that this one who will prevail means stronger one will prevail that's why if you see at the uh, four four here somewhere here at the four here this one particular one here this one when zero one has come this uh, compiler has given output as a one just because just because this 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 is being used this is being used you try it from home don't use this don't use this simply use this g1 and g2 that's it and the same test bench and the same test bench you run what you get you do you see possibly you may get unknown value because contention issue because contention they are fighting it and we have to tell the uh, compiler that don't fight use this this uh, strength levels and accordingly you decide like that you have to assist the compiler now if you if you come here 10 then also signal the stronger one will prevail here if you see this 10k that is uh, it is uh, cumulatively added this 4 plus 4 that is 8 so this is by 8 if you see 1 0 and the output still it is 1 so that is how this contention issue to resolve this contention issue in the next uh, we have this is uh, uh, what we call this uh, strength strength so yeah so, so does it mean that uh, yeah does it mean that if we have a zero and one for the given case it will always select one right because it will always have the strongest value it will always uh, have the strongest value means that depends upon the type of gate in our example we, we, uh, we in our example we have the buffer Which yes the, huh, some some other case uh, we have the examples for and gate also because in subsequent uh, discussion it will come where we have this is a uh, 
you see a band band uh, uh, and a warp this data this is a net data type which we have seen no in one fl- one slide yes yes yeah 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 okay in this one yesterday we said that uh, if, if you see apart from why we have this sort of uh, net uh, data types this is a w o r war and this is w a n d this is a contention to resolve the contention based on the wired logic wired or logic wired and logic these data types will help us the contention issue to resolve the contention issue how we resolve the contention issue based on the strengths that is the one answer based on the this sort of data types so you are what you have uh, asked that depends upon the type of the gate that we are using for example just let me quickly just do this one because anyway again i have to come back here uh, so uh, this example if you see uh, this we are using here somewhere here if you see this one just let me pick it uh, here if you see this is band you see notice that band is used are you noticing this band yeah are yeah, there yeah. okay now if you see the other example here same example say an example what is say m just uh, just for a second you just go through this i1 i2 o i1 i2 o same buffer strong one full zero full one full zero okay same same example with the band here back let me go back see from one full zero full one full same example so how the contention if you see the these outputs here just uh, there, remember this because i have i'm going to that slide now zero zero one one now if you go to that slide this, this, is, this is different right this is not zero zero one one no are yeah. you getting the point yeah yeah so contention issue resolving it depends upon what the type of logic you are using to resolve in the in a simplest example uh, because uh, uh, this simplest example this is the simplest example simplest example this one in this simplest example we did not use band uh, uh, logic to resolve the contention neither we used war logic to resolve the contention we simply resolved the contention issue using the strength levels only based on but what if strength strength themselves are uh, conflicting each other so that is another case we will see in this example so in subsequent slides uh, that will come why we are going to band why we are going to war to resolve the contention issue okay yeah is that clear what i have said uh, so far yes yes okay now uh, we just move this this will be first this one this one also first this one also that's the uh, test bench for that just to test this one the test one. i will i will share this slides today you please try this this portion this portion you don't put in your compiler one two three this is for uh, reference purpose i tell even here in in while you run from home kindly remove all this and run the test bench you you should see this out in a eda playground of you can try but uh, don't go panic those who are not aware how to because i am going to demonstrate it now um, this is uh, this means Okay. Now come to this this question. The outputs for the four input combinations are given in the table. Uh, whenever there is a contention, the logic value of the output is decided by the stronger signal. In fact, uh, design description here realizes the R gate at the output side without additional hardware. So 
this one, this example, uh, if this is about the example, continue. Uh, yeah, this is also example one. This is also example one about that. This is done. We have done with example one. Now example two. So in this example, slightly modified here yeah, version of the uh, example one here. Yeah. What is that modification? Let us see. Put the gate outputs are decided by the following. The same logic as in the last case. However, in one case, when both gates rank the output with equal strength, this this are this are what if, uh, if, if if this this happens when both gates rank the output with the equal strength? So let us see this example. Let us see this with example. The example. Now consider uh, the same again buffers right here. Two buffers. This is interesting one. Example two. When uh, this, if you see this is uh, G1, this is G1, and this is G2. Now you have your I1 here and you have your I2 here. And this, if you see O, O, meaning the same net. They are both are driving the same. Now, if 0 is there here and 0, no contention issue. If 1 is there, if 1 is there, no contention issue. But what about when 0 and 1? Let us see. So, if 0 comes here, if we are talking about 0 is with the first gate. First gate means this one, G1. If 0 is the input, so output in full zero state, we agree, everyone agree, the strength of the signal is a full zero. Agree? Yeah. Uh, if, okay. Now, when one one is the input here uh, to the this gate, the G2, so what is that here? The strength is, is this one, this one, this. Do we agree this full one is the strength of that gate output yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. Now, let what? Oh, on what basis this is going to resolve? Based on the strength. Let us see the strength here. Go strength here. One gate is full zero. The other gate is full. Meaning what? They are at the same strength level. One is the other way it is going. One is the other way, the opposite direction. It is. Uh, you can think like uh, it is one. It is two. Strength level is same. Strength level is a pull only. Pull only. There is no higher priority, there is no lower priority in the, among these two. They are with the same, uh, uh, you know, uh, priority level. The lower, lowest priority level is this, highest priority level is this. And the priority is only three, the same priority level. They, these two are there, these two strengths are there. Here. Are you understanding the uh, problem? Yeah. So, that is the problem here in this example two. This example two. Example two, based on this uh, uh, strength levels alone, from this, what is the conclusion is, based on the strength levels alone, we cannot resolve the problem. So, to overcome that problem, so what is required is, these, these, are, these have come into the picture. These have come into the picture. They help us to resolve the problem using either AND logic or OR logic. So, you can try this is example 2, this portion, you please try today. This is the code for that example 2 and this is the test bench for the example. Kindly don't put 1, and 2, 3 like that. This is the uh, that one, uh, example 2. And you should expect in your simulator these outputs. This is second assignment you can think. Uh, these slides after the session have been uh, posted in the WhatsApp group. So the, the problem here is I think you understood uh, very well. Though strengths are used to resolve the plantation issue, a case will come, a scenario will come wherein they will be of same priority, same strength level, but pulling. In the opposite direction, one will be pulling towards the one, the other will be pulling towards the zero. So both are like we cannot decide. The other is 
try like it is the other one is try uh, try uh, uh, trying to connect to the VDD. The other end is trying to connect to the VSS ground, which, which is not possible practically thinking. Uh, not possible either it should go to the VDD or it should come to the VSS. Uh, otherwise, uh, one net is trying here and also here. It's not possible. That is uh, that is the issue discussed in the example two. To overcome that problem, to address that one, strengths on nets can be decided in ways other than direct declarations. These offer additional flexibility to the circuit designer. Consider the example of this figure from somewhere. So, but however, the point here is it may be made specific in two alternate ways. Those alternate ways are RAN and WAR are two types of net declarations for such contention. That is the conclusion actually. Why we are going for RAND and why we need WAR is we, with, with this alone we cannot address the contention issue. We have to have this 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 sort of problem. Uh, you know, problem means solution. So this RAND here, if you look at this one here, RAND is a wire declaration which resolves an AND logic in case of contention. How RAND keyword is helping us? It helps us to resolve the contention issue based on this. Like uh, 1 is 0, 1 is 1. So based on AND logic, based on AND logic, it resolves the problem. Based on AND logic, what is the answer for this case? It's 0. Based on OR logic also, there is a keyword. That is a word. Based on this, if one is zero, one is uh, the other is one, what is the output one? So, meaning this problem is solved using the AND logic. This problem is solved using the uh, this OR logic. Is that clear to everyone there? How this these keywords are helping us? Yes, it is clear. Yeah. So now, who has to decide? Uh, designer has to decide whether my problem needs to be addressed with the help of and uh, uh, contention problem solution uh, uh, solu as a solution or our based solution to, depending upon the requirement of the application they may use this one or this one so let us see one example so this example if you see the same example earlier example we have taken here with this we will wrap our application this example, if you see this buffer, is to only to focus. This is the same where you, with the help of uh, this one, strong one, full zero, full one, full zero. That's the same here. Strong one, full zero, full one, full zero. This will fade there to address where in the example to here. Here we fade here to address the contention issue problem. Now we are solving that contention issue problem with the help of this RAND. Just, just you place the band. You have declared already this output here. You you have to observe very carefully. This this O is actually an output here, and that is again declared with the keyword a band here. Then this contention problem is happy this all. If you see here, there is a happy result. Here. There is no unknown value sort of thing. There is no unknown value of sort of thing. This when this is coming, actually contention issue will come. But, but that is not there yet. So this problem is solved just because of this. this Similarly, the same problem is addressed here. Yes, if you see this, this problem, this is again example two only. This is the example two. But here, this contention issue is solved using the war war keyword. See the war. This is the same output here, and this output is redeclared with the keyword W O R. And the contention issue is resolved wired or logic. What is wired or logic? What is wired and logic? I'm assuming you people are already aware. If not aware, kindly ping me. Though I think in these slides also I'm sharing that one with you for your difference. Uh, I think in this slide it's not there. The other slide I have here with me. So in that wired or logic. Kindly go through that one. Still, if you have doubt, I, I, I will answer. This is the wild and if you see this is the carefully here. This one, this is, uh, I, I think, visible. You can you, can you, you can see this where I'm probably 
wired and so this is how actually wired and logic uh, uh, is uh, working here. If you see, go through this one. In case if you still have the problem, uh, I will, I will, I will address. 